So last time we were talking about the diagnostic fracture injection test, DFIT, or the extended leak off test, right? As a way to determine S3, the minimum principal stress, which would be either SH min or the vertical stress. And so there's another another type of test. So you know, in the extended leak off test, you you basically uh, inject at a constant pressure, right? And then you go through the whole curve, and we talk about what all the points on that curve are. And if you carry it out all the way through uh, a stable fracture propagation and shut in the well, then your best estimate of S3 is going to be uh, the, f the uh, fracture propagation pressure, the you know, uh, initial shut-in pressure, or the fracture closure pressure. Right? So just depending on how long you carry out the test, those are going to be your best estimates to S3. There's another way. It's uh, similar in many respects to doing the test, but this is called a step rate test. So in a step rate test, instead of injecting at a constant pressure, you're going to increase the injection rate. So you're going to uh, in inject at one rate and record the pressure, inject at one rate and record the pressure, inject at one rate and record the pressure, inject at one rate and record the pressure and just continue to do this. And at some point, when you begin to fra uh, propagate a fracture, then you're going to see a distinct inflection in the curve. Because again, initially, you're injecting to a fixed volume. And then you begin to propagate a fracture away. And so the volume incre increases, and you're gonna, the pressure is going to drop. And so the place where these uh, two points meet, these two curves meet, is S3. So that's called a step rate test. You know, in, in most of these tests, especially when you're doing a step rate test, you know, the data's always sometimes suspect because they're usually done with some guy with a clipboard standing at the surface watching a watching a needle bounce around and recording the pressure as the flow rates change. So uh, the, the the data is some, somewhat suspect in in these tests, and you know I guess um, the the best test is probably the the defit or the the le extended leak off test because they, you know they're done in a way that is sort of intended to, to diagnostically get S3, especially if they're carried out all the way through shut-in 